hello sweet ladies you're welcome back to my channel in today's class i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful trending sleeve you can see this sleeve comprised of a long sleeve and also a puff sleeve so let's get started so for this tutorial you will need your lace and also your ankara fabric all right so i'll be cutting the pencil sleeve first so first i'll fold my fabric into two then i'll fold it into four because i'm going to be cutting the sleeve for both hands together then i'm going to measure the length that i want for the long sleeve then after that i'll measure my ammo length this way with my allowance so let me just cut this out first so that i can show you what i'm doing all right so the length i have here is my long sleeve length with half inch allowance then I'll, i'm going to measure five inch downward for my cap height and on my cap height line i'm going to impose my arm o length plus my same allowance then i'm just going to draw my hand o cuff then at the hem i'm going to input my round sleeve measurement with one inch seam allowance then i'll connect it this way then after that i'll cut it out I believe we all know how to cut sleeve if you don't know how to cut sleeve i'm going to leave the link to my sleeve tutorial in the comment section so after that i'll just notch the tip like this so that i will know the part that is going to be connected to the shoulder next we are going to be cutting the puff sleeve so first you fold your fabric into two then after that you fold it diagonally like a triangle like this into four so first you look for the position where you will see your arm hole length with your allowance then you roll it then from that point you measure five inches upward like this then you are going to just form your arm or cuff or better still you can bring your pencil sleeve to get this so just place your pencil sleeve and just trace the shape of your arm or just trace out the shape of your arm or like this and that's it so the next thing now is to measure the length you want for the puff so whichever length you choose to use you are going to have three inches to that measurement let's say for example like my own case i want the length from shoulder to be 12 inches so to form the puff effect i made it to be 15 so it's 15 that i measure as my length here so the next thing you go back to the tip of the triangle you now measure down to where you have your length then you rotate your answer then after that you cut it out Then after that, you trim this part off. Then you notch the center of your cap height. You know this part here, we are going to be putting elastic and it's going to gather it up for you. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to slit this part because it's going to have an opening there. So just slit it. So we're going to be sewing our sleeve now i'll keep the pencil aside first and i'll work with this flay and this flay is into four pieces now because you know we slitted it so just keep two aside and then work with two because two is going to be for each of the sleeve so this is it and you know this part here is going to be open this part is going to be open so the first thing you want to do is to close it from the end upward like this just measure one each upward and close it but if you know you want to use the same fabric like you want to fold the m to create your casing because in my own case i'm going to be using bias to, to create the casing so if you know you want to use the same fabric you can measure two inches upward 
this is my ham hole and then this is the center of my sleeve which i already slit so i'm going to measure one inch upward so i'll just measure one inch upward like this then from that one inch i'm going to sew it down like this with half inch seam allowance can you see so the next thing is to open it so you open it like this and then you are going to be creating uh like you are going to be stitching it let me show you what i'm going to do so just fold it once and then you fold it again like this like you are going to aim it like that and then you're going to run your stitch all the way down Can you see all the way down like that then you also do the other side so just turn it this way and then you m the other side as well so i'm done aiming both sides and this is how it looks can you see so the next thing now is to fold it in case you want to use your wrapper to create the elastic channel but i'm going to be using bias so i'll just m the lower part with my bias so i've emmed the lower part with my bias and then the next thing is just to put my elastic inside it and i have already put my elastic inside the casing can you see my elastic is already inside there so this is how it looks so the next thing is to just to fold it together like this and then you are going to close the side seam using your allowance the allowance you had it I had that one inch allowance so i'm just going to close the uh, side seam with one inch seam allowance so this is it turn it to the right side so by the time you turn it to the right side this is how it looks can you see so i'll keep that aside and then i'll work with the pencil sleeve so for your pencil sleeve you are going to close your side seam so just fold it to the wrong side so that your right side is facing each other and then you're going to close the side seam with one inch seam allowance depends on the allowance you had it i had a one inch allowance i'm going to be closing the side with one inch allowance all right so the next thing now is to turn it to the right side so after turning it to the right side you are going to be attaching uh the flay together with it can see this is how my pencil sleeve looks so just take your uh, puff sleeve but first thing from this center of the sleeve like this measure one inch inward measure one inch inward like this from both side then after that you're going to put this pencil sleeve inside the puff sleeve like this and bring it out from the end like so can you see so the next thing is to match their side seam together align their side seam together let them match at the side seam so this is the side seam of both of them match it together can you see this is the side seam and this is the side seam of the puff match it together and then you pin it So the next thing is to sew it together. So just make sure you align them together like that. That one inch that you measure, start the sewing from there. Join the flay, uh, join the puff together with the pencil sleeve at the arm or cuff like that. Join it together till you get to the side seam. When you get to the side seam take off the pin and then you continue to the other side 
continue to the other side till you get back to the second one in chalking I didn't fast forward this because I wanted you to see it very clearly so that you can see the step by step it's a simple sleeve but it has a lot of steps so just take your time and do it nicely all right so i'm done with it this is how it looks can you see it's so pretty so beautiful so the next thing now is to attach it to your uh, blouse or your gown or anyway you want to attach it to so i'm going to be attaching it to my blouse now so this is my arm o so the next thing you want to do is to align the side seam of your sleeve together with the side seam of the blouse match the side seam together like this and then you pin So the next thing is to sew the sleeve all around the armhole. So you just sew it all around the armhole like that. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to start the sewing from the side seam so that everything can align properly. And that's it our sleeve is ready i've already shown you how to make this blouse in last week's tutorial if you have not seen the tutorial please kindly watch i'm going to leave the link in the description box if you enjoyed this tutorial please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed thanks for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial bye